Sometimes changing your life seems as easy as watching a bunch of YouTube videos like this and then implementing something for an hour a day and magically all your dreams come true. But this video is a PSA about what it really takes to change your life and that sometimes it's not that easy. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here over at Modern Health Monk. Before we jump in, I've put together a free goal setting worksheet to help you figure out how to have the best year ever of your life and what exactly to do to make that happen. So it's the first link right below this video. You'll get a free email series that'll help you set some goals and figure out what to do every day to make those happen. You know, so many people want, for example, to build a business or even to build a YouTube channel, maybe to write a book. And yet we have a sort of romantic idea about what it takes to build these things. You know, when I built my first business, which is this one, I, for over three years, three years and three months, didn't see my girlfriend at all during the week because I realized that if I was gonna make this happen with a full-time job, I was gonna to have to sacrifice at a level that I'd never before in my life. I realized that after six months of putzing around and playing entrepreneur, thinking I was gonna quit my job and become such a big baller, never happened, that I was gonna to have to put in a lot more hours than I thought. So I realized that after my nine to five job, what it was gonna take was getting off work at five, going to the gym, being back from the gym at seven, and then from seven to 10, working at my favorite cafe for three hours of my business, and then coming home and getting ready for bed. Now I did that five days a week, and then also on the weekends without my day job, for three years and three months before I made anywhere near enough money to quit my day job. Now, you better believe I read all these stupid articles on making six figures in six months, and these, YouTubers that make millions of dollars talking about their boyfriends breaking up with them. But in reality, it took a lot more work and a lot more sacrifice. And that was what firmly solidified what it really took as an entrepreneur to build the kind of life and business that I wanted. I didn't see my girlfriend for over three and a half years, basically, during the week to make sure that my dream was possible. You may have to sacrifice some of your relationships or some of your family dreams in the time being. For your goals. I remember that same girlfriend, can you believe what her mom did to be able to not only get to America, but get her whole family there? She came from the Philippines and she had spent over 10 years alone as an immigrant in various different countries. The first being Dubai, because as a nurse, Dubai paid her a lot more than the Philippines. And so she worked in Dubai for several years alone as a woman without any of her family and sent that money back home. And after Dubai, she came to Florida in the USA and worked again for several years alone, sending her money family. And then up to Connecticut for several years alone, just to send money to her family. You know, for so many of us, we have a romantic idea about, I'm just gonna do my 30 minute morning routine, meditate 10 minutes, journal, write in my book, whatever it is, and then magically everything changes. You manifest your dream person, your dream job, you get into Harvard, you make six figures. But the reality of self-growth sometimes is a lot more painful, a lot harder, and has a lot more sacrifice. I mean, how many of you are willing to go 10 years away from your parents in another country to improve your life and their life? I know most people will not. Just like most people are not gonna give up Netflix for three hours a night to write a book like I did. And most people are not gonna give up their whole evenings with their friends to start building their business so they can really become an entrepreneur and actually make money so that they can really be fully self-employed. Most people will not do that because the idea of it is a lot more fun than actually doing it sometimes. So sometimes you have to sacrifice a little now to get a lot of what you want later. And the little now may be big to you. The little now may not just be an hour a day, the little now may be the three hours a night of Netflix. And maybe you watch it for one hour and you spend three building a business or learning how to code or with the second job, or maybe you're in grad school and you're working at a suicide breakneck pace so you can have a better life in four years and not have a quarter million dollars of debt, but instead you'll have 100,000, which is a doable number. So whatever it is, the romance of self-growth is often disconnected from reality or certainly the reality of what it takes so much of the time. Whether it is dedicating three hours a day or moving to a new country for a better life, or it is maybe not dating for a while because you need to work on yourself and get some things together. 
self-growth sometimes is painful and it sometimes means a lot of sacrifice. And one thing I know is that a lot of people watch this video and 99% will do literally nothing about it. Most people that watch this video will do nothing. They'll watch another video and another because watching a video or reading a book or listening to a podcast is always easier than doing anything to change your life. So whatever it is that you want in your life, remember that it doesn't mean you have to sacrifice something, but a lot of the time you do. And that one hour a day is all it takes to write the book. The two hours a day or three is all it takes to build that business. The time you dedicate in the evenings or the weekends to working extra is what it takes to maybe pay off grad school or maybe save for that trip to Italy that you've always wanted to do. But sometimes if you just sacrifice a little, you can get a lot later. And that dream life will happen for you, but it may not be easy in the short run. But if you can dedicate that time every single day, an hour or two, you'll build that incredible life that everyone else is envious of. And it's the thing you always wanted to do. So put in your hour a day or your two hours or three hours. 99% of people that watch this will do nothing. Will you? That's what I've got for you today, guys. Check it out. Download that free worksheet and I'll see you soon.